Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we would be learning the data variables in the Postman. So let's begin. Data variables are the variables which are actually defined in the external CSV or the JSON file. And we use those JSON and CSV files to make our APIs data driven. Okay, and we did that practically in our last session. We have to define the variables, okay, in that particular JSON or the CSV file. We need to assign the multiple values to those variables so that we can run our APIs with the multiple set of data. Now let's see this practically. In our previous session, we created a file called data-driven-csv.csv, right? And we use that file to make our APIs data-driven. In this particular example, what we did is that we actually created a data variables. Here, in this particular example, the name is basically a data variable. Similarly, the salary and age. Here, we have actually defined name, salary, age as a data variable because they will eventually provide us a data, multiple data so that we can make our APIs data driven, right? And here we provided a multiple data, okay? The, for the name, uh, we have a testing and test. For salary, we have 15,000, 25,000. For age variable, we have 25 and 30, okay? And that's how we can define a multiple data set and we can make our APIs data driven. If you look carefully here, what we did is that we have defined name, salary, and age for one time in the CSV, right? But what will you do in the JSON? In JSON, what we need to do is that we have to define these variables multiple times. The number of data sets we required, we need to define those variables that number of times. Just open that JSON file which we created in our last session. And here you can see that we created data variable here and here again. So because we need a multiple set of data, that's why we define this data variable twice here. So that Postman can recognize it as a two different set of data. So this is sort of uh, a limitation uh, in the JSON, okay? And I personally recommend you to use the CSV file, but you can even use the JSON as well. But it is easier to work on the CSV file and you can easily create your data variables and you can manage them easily and you can run your APIs with a different set of data easily, okay? So far what we have done is that we have just, you know, created the variables and assigned the values to those variables okay now what we need to do is that we need to import these files in the postman so that we can utilize these variables so open the postman go to the collection runner okay so here you know that we have option for data click on select okay and select the file and uh, I'm looking for the file here and here's a file click on open okay now just click on the preview section. Yes, the, the file has been populated successfully here and it has populated the values as well, okay? Now what we need to do is that uh, we need to utilize these variables, okay? For that, what we need to do is that we need to go back to the request now and we need to pass the variable. So simply what we need to do here is that we can simply pass the variable by just providing a double curly braces provide the variable name okay okay and then close with the double two curly braces simply just like we did for any other sort of variables in the postman thank you so much for watching this video we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next lecture